everything that I'm hearing from Isha since I've met Isha um, has just been full of um, synchronicities. Um, since I met her, it's just been so beautiful. And um, this is exactly what Isha is saying. Um, the times where I am not able to connect to source, not <coughs> able to meditate, is the times that I disconnect from the business. Um, and um, I can truly, uh, uh, it, it's all falling into uh, perspective now. What's your biggest challenge? Um, um, first, having a voice, going out there, putting myself out there, um, because of conditioning, um, the way um, you know, typical Indian household, very, um, very education focused. Um, this is what the family does. This is what the lineage does. This is what you're gonna do. Um, it's been about finding myself, finding that voice, um, finding my footing. Um, always wanting to know that I have to have my own thing, but. Um, it was a long process to find what is it that I want to do. And since I started this website, it's been on and off, um, trying to um, find what is it that I'm trying to do. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's, that's been the challenge. And so far I have um, like trickles of people coming to my website, maybe about 50 to 100 people a day. Um, it's something that I'm trying to um, gain exposure on, gain voice on, but till I don't have that voice myself, I think it's not gonna have a voice. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you through a process. Uh, you probably should actually take <laughs> um, I'm gonna take you through a process, and as I'm taking Vicky through the process with her business, I want you guys to all do the same for your business, okay? Your business is going to guide you. Your business is going to lead the way. Yeah? If you can apply this process to any of those challenges that we've listed before, like your finances and your time management and all of those things, this process is going to save you a lot of time and make things a lot more efficient. And it's just, it's going to like completely change the way that you run your business. Okay, so if you just close your eyes for a sec. Um, just pop there. Just close your eyes for a sec. Okay. Take a breath. And can you see your business in front of you? Okay. Um, because you're going to tell us what you're seeing. Um, does this hold that? Yeah. Tell us, um, describe to us what you're seeing. Um, this logo that I formed years ago without knowing what it means, um, it basically is exactly what we're doing here. Um, it's a tree, it's got leaves on top, um, and it's got roots, and I can see that it's exactly what we're doing here today, um, connecting to the earth. Um, there's leaves on tops that are connecting um, to the source and in, in between um, the trunk of the tree is a figure, it's a lady who's, um, who's representative of me and representative, representative of everybody who's, um, who I'm going to touch with this website. Okay, beautiful. So that's, that's the symbol that you've got that represents the business, yeah? yes? Okay. So as you're looking at this tree, and for you guys, it'll be whatever symbol it is for you. As you're looking at this, um, think about your biggest challenge right now, and then tell me how that's showing up in your image. Um, so tree, she, um, <coughs> she feels um, disconnected, sometimes not watered enough, not enough sunlight, um, gets distracted, goes, um, the caretaker me goes indoors, ignores her, um, because, you know, I have to have a job, go take care, pay the bills, um, and, but I'm not satisfied there, and the tree feels ignored, and every time I come to it, I water it, it nourishes, but when I leave it, and go indoors doing my day job, selling stuff, or doing stuff, the tree, the tree withers. Okay. <coughs> so, what actions is this business asking you to take right now so that it is feeling nourished and watered? Um, pay more attention to it, hug it more, uh, connect with it more. Yeah, and how can we translate that to tangible actions in your business? 
spend more time with it. Okay. Now let me ask you, what is currently preventing you from doing those things already? Because I'm going and doing my day job <laughs> of uh, feeding my family. <laughs> okay, dig deeper. Sorry? Dig deeper. Um, ask, ask the business of Jamie. <coughs> I don't trust it. Okay, let's go into that. Why is that? I'm ignoring it. I'm not trusting it. I'm not. I don't have faith in it. Yeah, keep going. <coughs> It's telling me that it will wither if I if I don't give it water, if I don't connect to source, if I don't <coughs> let the sunshine shine on it. <coughs> and I need to trust that process mm -hmm. and and believe in it, and that it's real, and that uh, it needs um, it it needs me. And if I do that, there's going to be a lot more people who are gonna get help with the fruits that come from it, and I shouldn't ignore it. <coughs> What's that? What's going on in your throat? I've got a little bit of a, I've had a flu two weeks ago, and it's still uh, recovering. Nothing's a coincidence. <coughs> so when somebody comes up here and says, I need to find my voice, and they have a sore throat, I'm like, oh, OK. Can you, can you see that? <laughs> yep. Okay. Just stay, stay with it. Stay in the vision. We're kind of, we're kind of dancing around this thing at the moment because, like, you've already connected with the business. You know what it needs, and we're using this analogy of the tree because that's the symbol that's come up for you. So we know that it needs water. We know that it needs sunshine. We know that it needs your care and attention. We already know that. Okay. And everyone else's business in the room actually needs the same thing. If everybody's business was a tree it would need the same things, yeah? The question is, what is stopping you from giving it that? Fear of failure, okay. fear of disappointing, fear of disappointing, uh, disappointing people, disappointing my father, disappointing, um, disappointing people I work with, expectations of people. <coughs> At times I feel a bit used um, at work, um, because whatever I put my heart to at work, I give 200% to it. <coughs> and I'm a fa failure, a fear of disappointing those people and meeting other people's needs than mine. <coughs> what would be the worst thing that would happen if your business was successful? It would become too big for me to manage. Um, it would become too big for me to manage. I'm, I'm scared of having an office with people to manage. I think I, um, I feel like I want to do it solo. <laughs> I'm scared of um, what lies ahead and not knowing how to manage when that comes in, in, in comes into reality. <coughs> If you were to build a business that got to that level, mm -hmm. what's the first step that you need to take today in that direction? I'm not thinking about the end of it with all your people and managing, but just what's one step? So just before coming here, I was driven in the last three days to go print business cards. <coughs> and things just fell into place on Friday, my trains got delayed, I went and got, I found this guy, usually they, they are quite, um, the day before I had a bad experience, the guy was like, oh we don't have a, we don't have somebody to help you, we don't have a designer, you don't have a design ready, um, but Friday, trains were delayed, Sydney there was a big blockage, um, got up at Vineyard Station, called this guy, uh, he said come along, I'll help you, um, he delivered from 10 o'clock 
he sent the designs over to me, sent me two designs by one o'clock by three three thirty three. Um, dot after three thirty three, he called me and he said your cars are ready. And <clears throat> it just fell in place, and I think that's one. That's the start of something big happening, and. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, what was your question? <laughs> What's the first step that you need to take? <coughs> yes, yeah, so this was my first step. Okay. What's the next one? To share it. To be, <coughs> to share it around. To share, to show people, to connect with people. Okay. <coughs> so keep seeing that business in front of you and imagine that you go out and you share this business with other people. What is the effect of that on your business? So the tree uh, is providing shelter to a lot of people. The people who don't want to be under the shed want to come under the tree knowing that they don't have to be under an artificial, artificial surface for protection. They could come under the tree instead. <coughs> and people who are ready, people who are ready to be on the conscious path, the tree provides them that shelter and a space where they're not judged for their journey and where they're at. So what I'm hearing, you've already taken the step of making the business card mm -hmm. and now the business is asking to be shared, mm -hmm. but you're afraid to share it because it's about, like sharing is about your voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where's that sitting in your body? Mm, here, just below my throat. Okay, go into that. What's in that space? <coughs> Look, congestion. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I've fallen sick <coughs> five times in one year. <coughs> What emotions are coming up right now? Problem light. <laughs> Why <Violet> light? <coughs> yeah. Okay, so just sit in that. See this this year, the five times you've been sick this year, mm -hmm. that's yep. what's been stopping you from getting the business out of Because the business knows what it wants. As do all of yours, by the way. Your businesses are all okay. Yeah? Where is, where is it not aligning for you? Like there's a, you know, there's, there's a lack of alignment between what your business is asking of you and you actually going and doing the thing. <coughs> because I have a mortgage to pay, <laughs> I have a husband, I have a family to support. Okay, if, <coughs> if you put that energy into your business, mm -hmm. it would give you the fruits, right? Yes, but I don't know when, that's what I'm scared of. <coughs> I don't know when. So it's the uncertainty. Yeah. What if it happened right now? <laughs> I go get my resignation. <laughs> well, ask the business. <coughs> ask the business. What does the business actually want from you? And this is where you have to trust. And this goes for all of you. Right? You have to trust what your businesses are asking you to do. Nobody has a, a timeline of <coughs> when things are going to happen. There, there is no perfect timeline. It's not going to happen. Right? Mm -hmm. And in your case, because I know your case, because we've spoken before, mm -hmm. right? You're not even being asked to jump ship. You're just being asked to put <coughs> more energy into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So it's not even about the timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's actually about you just don't want to be hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. I'm also scared I'll be reprimanded at, at work because they're not very supportive of such things. And because of the industry I am in, it, it, they're not very. Uh, Encouraging, or maybe my particular place is not very encouraging of um, entrepreneurship. 
so I'm scared to go out there and they'd just be judging me all over. How many people are there in this planet? Billions. Like 7.6 billion, I believe. <coughs> so if like your handful of people at work don't accept it, mm -hmm. is that a big deal? Mm -hmm. What about the thousands of people that actually need you to share what you need to be sharing? Because right now, those people aren't getting it. That shelter that you're providing isn't being provided right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is, you know, guys, this is one of those instances where, like, when fear comes up, the fastest way to get past it is actually just to do the thing. You just have to do the thing. Yeah? Because if you connect to your business in this way, your business will tell you what decisions to make, right? So all of that stuff that we had on the board, like time management and stuff, if you just do the technique that I showed you just then a few minutes ago where you connect to your business and ask your business, your, your business will tell you what to do in which order and how to do it, yeah? That's not the problem. That's never the problem. The problem is you guys won't do it <laughs> because then all your other stuff comes up, yeah? Which is generally not... The, the real issue is like that stuff is not the real issue those are not issues yeah that those are like the symptoms of the real issue the real issue is this what's going on here yeah and it's it's the inner work it's actually the energetic stuff yeah so what i want you to do is ask yourself because you can also talk to your body yeah talk to your body what do you need to do right now in this energetic space so that you can clear this block and help more people? <coughs> the first step was coming up here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the first step was next? coming up here. Yeah. What's the next? <coughs> to, to not stop myself, keep sharing. Keep sharing. Can you actually bring that into your body? So right now, you've got this big blockage in your throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that blockage is going to clear from the moment you commit to sharing. And I, I don't just mean saying it on this stage, I mean like actually going and doing it. And it's a pretty big commitment, by the way, to say this in front of all of you guys, because you're going to keep her accountable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. But feel, like, feel it in the body, like feel it right now. So see yourself, like look at your website, like actually have it in front of you. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is this workshop? Where is this website getting shared? Everywhere. <laughs> Can you give me three examples? On some groups. On yeah. Facebook. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Where else? My friend already shared it on Insta. <laughs> yeah. Where are you gonna share it? For people I meet, it's gonna be in more work groups. But family, friends. Okay. I'm gonna let it out there. I've kept, it up. I've kept it to me for a while, for fear of being judged. But okay. um, I'm going to go out there. Now, please. Three. I'm going to add a, an extra layer of accountability and challenge to this. <laughs> this is a two-day event. So mm -hmm. you're going to go home tonight. Mm -hmm. What action are you going to take? <laughs> pick, pick one action. It's going to happen today. It's happening today. Like in the break today, you're going to go and do this thing. <coughs> See, when push comes to shove, it's happening now. It's happening now. Breathe, 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 breathe. Can you feel how that congestion has come back in? Yeah. Because I've just asked you to do it right now, and all of a sudden you're like, <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so breathe, breathe, by the plane. Yeah. Okay, so we're clearing the energetic as well as actually clearing the block. Because this is this is one of those blocks where you can't just be in the energy about it. You actually have to go and do something. Because, like, so I've worked with Yippie before and I've given her this tool where you can use Violet Flame to clear the energetics. But then what happens in spiritual communities is people sit around like Violet Flaming all day and then nothing happens for like two years. <laughs> okay, you've got to get out of the spiritual la la land and actually do something. <laughs> so, so I'm asking you to do something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what are you going to do today? Um, I'll share on my Facebook a quote from my website. <laughs> And then on my personal group. Oh, so you're going to share a quote from your website on your personal page. Are you then going to put a link to your website so people can go to your website? Yep. 
Is when is that going to happen? <laughs> Today. What time? Um, <laughs> you want during the break or after? <laughs> at the end of the day. No, can we do it in a lunch break? <laughs> <laughs> okay, lunch break. Because then at the end of lunch, we're, we're all going to come back and we're going to cheer you if you've done it. Lunch break. Okay? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.